everyone, it's Robin, the Pink Stamper, and today I'm going to show you how to make something using the Simply Sweet Cricut cartridge that will be released at the end of this month or the beginning of July, and I'm going to be mixing it with mini monograms. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to use the stitched feature on the butterfly, and I know I've already made uh, one video using the butterfly, but I'm going to do something a little bit different. I am going to hit my shift and then hit the butterfly make sure that it shows up in the window let's see here okay and I'm going to make it about I think two and three quarters should be a good size so let's see here alright and then I'm going to I want to make the center black but I'm going to go ahead and keep the wings clear for now and so I'm just going to use the regular butterfly Use my button to go over here. Now I hit, I want to take the stitched button off, and then I can just hit repeat last because it, it was shifted. So it's just going to make a big, and I'm wondering if that's too big, so let me, looks like it might be not the right size, so let's see here. Ah! Yeah, I'm going to have to figure out what size I want, so let me make this a little bit smaller. I'm thinking about two inches. So we hit repeat last. Okay, let's see if this is around the size. Still kind of looks big, so you just have to mess around, and I will play with that to get the right size for the inside. And now we're going to switch out cartridges. I do have the jukebox, but I just want to show you just switching without the jukebox. Make sure you turn your machine off, no matter what anyone tells you. Unless you have the jukebox, you're supposed, or you're using your Cricut Design Studio software, you're really supposed to turn off your Cricut machine. And I do know friends that have had problems because they have not done that. It's called, I think it's called hot switching or something like that. Okay. There we go. Whoops. And I'm looking right now at the two butterflies, and I do need to make it a little bit smaller. Okay, my mat needs to be, I need a new mat here, so I'm having issues with that. Okay. Now this is, I'm going to use my real size button. And this was two and three quarters for this, so I'm going to make a three inch scallop. I need to press my scallop first. Okay. That's a three inch scallop to go along with that. And I'm going to use this for a cute little scrapbook page embellishment. Alright, just peel off your scallop and then I'm going to take off my stitch circle oh, caught a little bit there okay I want to take my scissors and clean that up in a minute okay when these pop out you will see what it's going to look like let's see here and I'm going to like I said just use the black for the center part here I'm having problems with my thing okay you kind of get it. So I hope everyone is having a terrific summer. I haven't been making a lot of videos because we have been just outside swimming almost every single day. Okay, so here is with my scallop edge and it still has the stitched on it and I'm going to add the black and use this for an embellishment on a scrapbook page. So let's do that. All right, for the title on the scrapbook page, I want it to say Butterfly Kisses. So I'm going to, I'm using the Simply Sweet font that we use the butterfly from and I'm going to make it two and a quarter because it's a, a thinner type of font if I do it the regular size that I normally would have it's not going to be as thick so I don't want it to be really fine so I'm going to hit shift and then the B so let's see how big that's going to be that's a pretty good size so I only wanted my B I hope I hit set paper let me make sure that I hit my set paper size because once you punch this all in, you don't want your blade going on above your paper. Butterfly. I just want it to say butterfly in the pink. And then in the green. Ah! Okay. Hmm. This looks like it's going to be kind of huge. It might work. We'll see. We'll see what it looks like. So although I made it two and a quarter, I probably should have made it two inches because it does look like it's 
even though it's thin, it's, it's a good proportion font. Okay, butterfly looks like it might be kind of big, so we'll see here. For the kisses part, I've put the green paper in, and this is a uh, paper tray ink. It's the new leaf, and the other pink is hibiscus burst. And now I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to make it one and three quarters because I want the kisses to just be kind of overshadowed by the butterfly. And I'm going to make the kisses is going to be in all caps. So let's see here, K I S S E S, and. I might actually make that one and a half, so let's see. Let me do one and a half. And it's still kind of big, it's just very thin. So that's what you kind of got to watch. You've got to watch with um, this, and Lyrical Letters is another very thin cartridge, a very thin font. And Jubilee is very thin also, but they're really cute. Okay, here's what the completed scrapbook page is going to look like. All it needs are the pictures of my cute kids doing butterfly kisses. So I have this for my embellishment and you can't see the bottom of that here. I just have a strip. I went through my scraps. It's really always good to look through your scraps when you're making scrapbook pages or cards to find a little piece that you might be able to use somewhere. And this sheet of black is just an eight and a half by eleven piece of cardstock. I just put it right on there. I didn't have to cut it down or anything. And then I kind of did my Butterfly kisses, and I went ahead and left this at the two and a quarter inch. I didn't change it down, so I could have made it a little bit smaller. If you have more pictures than two, one or two that you want to put on a layout, you want to make your title a little bit smaller. So just butterfly kisses, and there's just a quick and simple idea for a scrapbook page. So I hope you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful day.